Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor, and it's time to have a serious discussion about 3D printing. Whenever I tell people that I'm into 3D printing, what usually follows is the same conversation over and over again. So I want to have that conversation here, and maybe the things that we talk about that I talk to you about, and hopefully the questions that you answer will help you decide if 3D printing is right for you. Now, I've been accused in the past of not wanting people to get into 3D printer, and, and nothing could be further from the truth. I want everybody to get into 3D printing. I think that it's fantastic, and I love it. But I want everybody to be successful at it, and being successful at it means, well, it, it, it's not entirely a... a turnkey process right now to take the most advantage of it you need to you need to go into it with less hype and more reality and so that's what this discussion is about it's about tempering your excitement with a little bit of reality and making you see other options and and helping you understand is this really right for you? Now, I hope that you come out of the other side of this going, you know what? Yes, you've given me something to think about, but I'm still going to do it. And yes, good. That's what I want. But let's let's go through a little bit of a mire before that point to get to it. The first thing that I always ask people is, what do you need it for? And most people answer, well, I got this really cool idea for a project that I want to do. And the projects are all different. I, I, I can't say at this point what project it is. But my first question is, well, do you have the skills to make that happen? If the answer is no, well, maybe you need to build the skills before you go in and, and spend a lot of money on a 3D printer that you're not going to be able to use. Also, do you have the other stuff that you need for this project? Uh, so many times I've started a project and gotten excited about one thing, like a Raspberry Pi or a 3D printer that I was going to use it for. And then I got that thing, and I spent so long learning that one thing that I never got to doing the project. If the other stuff that you can get is cheaper, then go get that stuff first. Make sure you have everything except for the 3D printer before you make that. It's a major expense. Also, can you develop the skills that you need without buying a 3D printer? I mean, if we're talking about modeling things, free modeling software is out there. Go get it. Go use it. Go learn it right now. You don't have to have a 3D printer to learn modeling and things like that for a 3D printer. Also, do you have any other ambition for this 3D printer but that one project, that one idea that you want to use it for? What else are you going to use it for? What next? The next thing I like to ask is, are you ready for a hobby? If you've got a full-time job and you're a part-time student or you got a part-time job and you're a full-time student, chances are you haven't got time for another hobby, let alone a life outside of that. And maybe you should put this off for just a little while. Uh, work on other things before you decide to pick up a hobby. Because 3D printing, like I say, it's not just a turnkey thing. You're going to have to invest some time and some effort into learning how to do it. And so be ready for that. And maybe, maybe now isn't the time. And if you can hold off for a little while, who knows? The 3D printers that we have in a year, two years, five years might actually be turnkey. Now, I don't want you to put it off. If now's the time, now's the time and do it. But think critically about that. Also, are you ready to get your hands dirty? Most 3D printers, even, even this new 3D printer that I got, uh, they fall apart. Things break and you've got to fix them every once in a while. And that, that becomes more true as the price goes down. The cheaper the 3D printer right now, the more likely that you're going to have to fix it. So be ready for that. And not just do you want to be a tinker. Do you tinker with stuff? Do you pull things apart and, and look at things? Have Do you already own a soldering iron or a, a set of Allen wrenches, a set of tools to do things with? If not... Well, maybe, again, that's something else that you can work on before you make the major expense of a 3D printer. Also, do you understand what 3D printing can do, or more importantly, what it can't do? If you don't understand going into it, you can find out how 3D printing works before getting into it. Again, I don't want to discourage you from getting into 3D printing. If you're into it, if you want to get into it, get into it, and I, I hope that you will but I want you to have that tempered with a little bit of reality. 
To finish this off, I want to tell you a little bit about how I got into 3D printing. When I first heard about 3D printing, I was just as excited as everybody else about it. It's fantastic. Believe me, I get the hype. It's way cool and I love it. But at the time, I couldn't justify the expense for a 3D printer. I have a family. I have kids. I have other things that I needed to spend the money on. And even though it was only $800 worth of parts, I thought, I'll have to hold off on it and I'm glad that I did at the time because that $800 worth of parts came with another $300 worth of parts that you probably should get plus three hours of your time on a weekend to put it together plus another five hours working with it and learning how to use it plus whoever knows how many hours after that that was in the early days of the RepRap project things nowadays are much much better much much easier to get started and so don't don't worry about having that experience but I waited a little bit and I started modeling for 3d printer I just couldn't help me help myself I thought this is so cool I want to try and make something for 3d printing and since i didn't have a 3d printer i pulled up blender which at the time was the free 3d modeling du jour and i had a little bit of experience because i i've got a little bit of an art degree and so i'd learned 3d max in the past and then and maya so blender wasn't too hard for me to pick up and i found it was fantastic i took the models that i created i shared them online somebody saw my 3d model it was a uh, well, the the first thing that I shared with people, not necessarily the first thing that I modeled, was was a Chinese chess set with little icons on them instead of its Chinese characters. You know, for us American folks who don't want to learn another language. Anyways, I was playing a lot of a game that I played with Chinese chess. I made the model and I put it out there and I shared it with people. And somebody in Massachusetts saw it and said, dude, I love this. I'm going to print it. And I said, well, can I get one? And he quoted me a price for it. And it was a little bit higher than I would have liked to have play, paid for a, a Chinese chess set. But he had the 3D printer and it was a custom job. So I said, all right, I'll do it. And the first time that I held in my hand something that had been made by a computer based off a design that I created my fate was sealed. It was all over. I entered several contests. I finally won a 3D printer and here I am today 3D printing. But I didn't jump into it from the hype. I took my time. I learned slowly what to expect and, and what was going to happen. And that way I came into it with a much better, much more realistic expectation. In fact, that first model that I made had some things with it that when I looked at it, I said, oh, I'm gonna have to adjust my model. And that's the way it happens with 3D printing. You make something, you look at the result and you learn how to 3D print better from that. You make the walls too thin, you learn about wall thickness and things like that. Just great lessons that you're not gonna learn any other way than by doing. And so I recommend you start by doing and then get it 3D printed. And you don't necessarily have to own a 3D printer to do that. In fact, that's what we'll talk about next time. How would you 3D print if you didn't have a 3D printer? Anyways, I hope to see you there. I hope that you're enjoying this series of videos. And if you are, I hope that you'll support me and I'll see you next time.